Welcome back to AI Foundation Learning, your go-to channel for everything AI. Today, we're diving into a fundamental topic that powers the magic behind large language models, or LLMs. We're talking about LLM parameters. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, a beginner, or a seasoned professional, this video will help you understand what LLM parameters are, why they matter, and how they influence the performance of AI models. Let's get started. Think of LLM parameters as the dials and levers that fine-tune how an AI model understands and generates language. But what exactly are these parameters and how do they work? Let's break it down with a simple analogy. Imagine you're training your dog to sit. You have various ways to approach this clicker training, positive reinforcement or luring. Each method emphasizes different learning aspects. Similarly, in LLMs, we have the model architecture that defines the training method. The model size equates to the complexity of the trick you're teaching. A simple sit might need fewer training steps than a complex multi-step trick like fetch. Weights are like the importance you assign to different parts of your dog's training. For instance, if you always give a treat when your dog sits, the dog learns that sitting is important. In LLMs, weights determine how much importance the model gives to specific word connections. For example, in the phrase, the cat sat on the mat, the model learns that sat is closely related to cat and mat. Embedding vectors are numerical representations of words. Think of them as coordinates on a map. Just like a map helps you find locations based on coordinates, embedding vectors help the model understand the meaning and context of words. For example, the words king and queen might be close together in this vector space because they have similar contexts and meanings. Now let's talk scale. The scale of LLMs is often quantified through parameter count. For instance, GPT-4 has an estimated 1 trillion parameters. Imagine each parameter as a tiny adjustment knob in a massive control panel. More parameters mean more knobs to fine-tune the model's understanding and generation capabilities. Think of parameters like factors determining the price of a product. Just as the cost of a product includes manufacturing, logistics, marketing, and taxes, LLM parameters include various elements that influence the model's performance. More parameters generally mean more complex models that can handle intricate tasks and generate nuanced text. However, this also means higher computational resources and costs. Let's consider an example. Gemini Nano has 1.8 billion parameters. While this is smaller compared to giants like GPT-3, it's designed for efficiency. It performs well on resource-constrained devices like smartphones, excelling in tasks like summarizing text or suggesting replies in chat applications. This balance between efficiency and capability is crucial for practical applications. We can also adjust parameters in LLMs using techniques like low-rank adaptation or lower A, which helps fine-tune models for specific tasks without requiring massive computational resources. This flexibility allows developers to optimize models for various applications, from customer service to content creation. So, why should you care about understanding LLM parameters? Knowing how these parameters work empowers you to make informed decisions about the models you use or develop. It's not just about having the most parameters, but finding the right balance for your specific needs. In summary, LLM parameters are the building blocks of AI models, influencing how they learn and perform. They include weights, biases, and embedding vectors, each playing a critical role in model training. While more parameters can lead to more powerful models, it's essential to consider the trade-offs in computational resources and costs. Before we wrap up, let's explain some key terms you might encounter. Parameter. A parameter in LLMs is a numerical value that the model uses to make predictions. Parameters are adjusted during training to minimize the error in predictions. Token. A token is a unit of text, such as a word or a subword, that the model processes. Tokenizing text breaks it down into manageable pieces for the model to handle. Context length. This refers to the amount of previous text the model considers when generating a prediction. Longer context lengths can improve the model's understanding but require more computational resources. Window size. Similar to context length, Window size is the range of text the model looks at in one go. It's crucial for understanding dependencies in the text. Embedding vector. This is a numerical representation of a token that captures its meaning and context. 
Embedding vectors allow the model to process and understand text more effectively. Activation function. This is a mathematical function applied to a neural network's output to introduce non-linearity. Common activation functions include ReLU, Rectified Linear Unit, Sigmoid, and TAN, Layer. A layer in LLMs is a level in the neural network where computations are performed. LLMs often have multiple layers, each contributing to the model's ability to capture complex patterns in data. Attention mechanism. This mechanism allows the model to focus on specific parts of the input text, improving the model's ability to understand context and relationships between words. Transformer. A type of model architecture that uses self-attention mechanisms to process input data. Transformers are the backbone of many modern LLMs, including GPT-4. Pre-training. The phase where the model learns from large amounts of text data before being fine-tuned for specific tasks. Pre-training helps the model acquire a broad understanding of language. Fine-tuning. The process of further training a pre-trained model on a smaller, task-specific dataset to improve its performance on that particular task. Regularization techniques used to prevent overfitting during model training. Common methods include dropout, weight decay, and data augmentation. Optimization algorithm. An algorithm used to adjust the model's parameters during training to minimize the loss function. Examples include stochastic gradient descent, SGD, and Atom. Understanding these terms will help you grasp how LLMs work and why parameters are so important. Thanks for joining us today on AI Foundation Learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI insights. Let us know in the comments what you think about LLM parameters and how you plan to use this knowledge. Stay curious and keep learning. See you in the next video.